everybody, it is Moisey89 here, and today I am back with another awesome video for you amazing people. And today we are going to be talking about GTA 6. So I was casually strolling through Twitter and I saw an announcement from Rockstar Games saying that GTA 6 is currently in active development. Now that got me extremely excited as you can probably tell. I have been a massive Grand Theft Auto fan since way back in the PlayStation 1 from GTA 1 all the way up to GTA 5 and I play GTA online. I've racked up nearly 2,000 hours in it. That might, might sound a bit obsessive but I do love me some Grand Theft Auto. It's one of my favourite game franchises of all time and I think it is going to be absolutely amazing. So what we're going to be going over today is what we know so far. Now there's going to be some facts in here and there's going to be some speculation but I hope all of you guys enjoy the ride and let's get right into the meat of the subject. So first is location. Now all we've had from Rockstar Games so far is a single screenshot. Now it has been heavily rumoured and speculated and also it looks a bit like it from from the screenshot that we've received is that it's going to be a modern day Vice City which in my opinion is absolutely fantastic that, that, that it couldn't be any better than that I would love to revisit Vice City in its modern day and to see how much Rockstar Games can improve and expand on Vice City for me personally Vice City is my second favorite Grand Theft Auto of all time and I loved the Scarface era of it it gave you a very Scarface feel to the game, very neon, very nuanced, looked very, very nice and I would, I can't wait to see what Rockstar Games come to bring to the table for us and show us it in a modern setting, which also implies that if it will be in Vice City, then it's going to be very drug related. I think there's going to be drug smuggling, I think there's going to be different islands from which, you know, you do the smuggling from because how can you be in Miami and not be involved with drugs? Drugs. That is, there's always been drugs in GTA games, especially in GTA 5. You can own a coke business, a weed business, and all that kind of stuff. But with Vice City, I think that'll be heavily in the in in the premise of it. Like you have heists and all that stuff, but I reckon if there's going to be heists on GTA 6 online, it is going to be mainly drug related. There will be other stuff. They'll keep it very open, and I believe that they're going to expand on everything that's already been there. But that is what I speculate to be now. We have had other theories and there has been a map leak as such. I say that with air quotes because, again, it's from the internet. You need to take it with a massive pinch of salt. But we could get somewhere that is completely new. Now, I, I, I don't know. Um, I would like to see somewhere new. That would also be really cool. But I'm also really excited for the fact that we could be returning to Vice City. But they could even implement it so we could be going back to Los Santos and stuff but for me personally I don't want to go back to Los Santos it'd be maybe nice for a quick visit for nostalgia sake but we've had Los Santos for the past nine years with GTA 5 so I think either Vice City that's been expanded upon and modernized or a brand new place slash map that we've never seen before would be the best and most logical route that Rockstar Games are going going to take it into the future it's the it's the most it makes the most sense now now for the graphics. The graphics are going to be absolutely insane. On screen you'll see some GTA 5 mods that are absolute insane sourced from Game Source. I think we're going to get something to this degree if not even better than what this is now we're going to be having ray tracing we know that for a hundred percent because they're adding ray tracing into grand theft auto 5 and in this day and age most modern games come with ray tracing um so we're going to be getting ray tracing they've also patented loads of new technologies recently rockstar games have which involves stuff to do with live world um they've done some patents for ai which by the sound of things the uh new ai 
AI in GTA 6 is going to be uh, crazy. It's going to be really insane and it's going to be really good. Now, even if we get something close to the AI of what we got in Red Dead Redemption, I'd be satisfied with that personally. But from the new patterns and from what it's looking like, we're going to be getting a lot more than that. I, I think as a whole, it's going to shape up to be one hell of an excellent game. And I cannot wait to see what we're going to get. Like the, the AI in Red Dead alone is so intelligent. I don't know if any of you guys have ever played Red Dead 2, but when you, you can sit there and follow a AI and it will do a full day routine, they'll go and eat a meal, they'll go do with their day to day stuff. And if that's going to be increased upon and expanded upon now, I can't wait to see what we get from that. And the graphics as a whole, I think is just going to blow our minds. We're going to see some mental stuff. So every time Grand Theft Auto make an initial release, they always blow the previous iteration out the water. They did it with five, with four and vice versa. There's each one is always substantially better than the last. And I believe that's why we have had to wait so long to get an announcement even of GTA 6 because we all know that the public have been demanding it. But one thing that I'm very happy at is that then they haven't pulled a CDPR and, uh, and just announced Cyberpunk like they did with Cyberpunk and announce it early and then end up getting something that was half-baked because we all know that Cyberpunk should have stayed in the oven, been out over a year, still hasn't been complete. Whereas I don't think we're going to get that with Grand Theft Auto 6. So, release dates. Now, if we go onto Rockstar Games' previous history with announcements, release dates, and stuff like that, with GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 and stuff like that, the educated, um, speculated, but educated guess would be towards the end of 2023. Now, take that with a massive grain of salt because Rockstar are infamous for their delays, which at the end of the day, if we got a delay, I would personally be happy with with that because I would rather you delay a game and we get it how it should be rather than get something rushed half-baked out the door but if you have a look from when they do their release announce releases and then all the way to actual game releases it's normally around two years so if I had to put my money on when Grand Theft Auto 06 would be coming out it would be either October or November of 2023 again take that with a massive pinch of salt this is a speculation but it is the best educated guess that I can get from doing my research onto the releases of Rockstar Games. Now, you've got to understand that they might take their time and they might make us wait a bit for a release, but I do think that we are gonna get one heck of an amazing game because with Rockstar, GTA is their main IP. It is their bread and butter. They want to sell us shark cards. Now, we're not gonna be spending money on shark cards if the game is not very good. If it's, you know, if it comes out half rushed or or anything like that that they, they want they want to make it as amazing as possible it's going to be huge it's going to be upscaled the graphics are going to be amazing the story the single player story i imagine the campaign will be absolutely fantastic and they are going to try and make us um, they're going to try to amaze us to make us play now will we get grand theft auto 6 online on when the game comes out my money would be on no i reckon it'll be a little bit while later i reckon to say it's similar with grand theft auto 5 I reckon we'd have to wait for a bit for it. I reckon PC would have to wait a little bit longer to receive the game as well. But I do think that that's how it will go. And you know that Grand Theft Auto is their main IP. It's their main bread and butter. It's how they pay the bills. So when this eventually comes, I'm so excited for it. When it eventually comes, it is going to be amazing. I can't say for 100%, but if I, I if I was a betting man, that's where I'd be putting my money. They're going to they're gonna blow us completely out the water with this. And 2023... Late November is what I reckon we will have the game by then. I don't know if we'll have the online or anything by then. And again, this is I want you to remember this is speculation, but an educated guess looking at the previous search history and all that kind of stuff. So guys, GTA 6, are you guys excited for it? Do you guys think it will take place in Vice City? Are we going to be going back to Los Santos? Or do you think we're going to be going somewhere completely new and unchallenged?
Uncharted territory. I'd love to hear all of your opinions down in the comments below. Are you guys excited for GTA 6? I know a lot of people didn't think they'd see it in their lifetime. There's a million and one memes. Uh, GTA won't come out until we're old men. So it's big news. It's made me extremely excited for it. As I say, I'm an avid Grand Theft Auto player and it's one of my favorite IPs of all time. I've been playing it since the PlayStation 1 and I cannot wait to see what they bring to the table. And I'd love to hear all of your comments and what you think about it. Tell me that all down below and uh, let me know if you're excited for it or at least excited as what I am. I just want to take a quick moment to apologize for not releasing a video in a long time. It's nearly been a year but I will have a short video coming out soon explaining um, where I've been. I've, I've been very busy with my personal life and I've not really had the time to upload or anything like that and I've also just been doing quite a lot but I've got a video coming out in around a week that uh, kind of a vlog type that will be explaining all that kind of stuff. Also, I've got a lot of GTA 5 content coming this way as I've been playing a hell of a lot of it recently with my group of friends. I've got some GTA funnies, a few guides, all that kind of stuff. So if that kind of thing interests you, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, tell me down in the comments below, shout it out loud because the more, the more that you guys let me know, the more that I'll produce for you guys. You know, if it's something that you guys want to see, I'm more than happy to provide it because at the same time, I enjoy doing it too. So yeah, remember, if you haven't already, subscribe and all that stuff, leave a like, tell me down below. So guys, I've been Moisey89. Thank all of you awesome people for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And if if you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like. It's free. It helps the, out the channel, helps it grow. Show me that you want more content just like this. And if you haven't, subscribe and become a Moissanary today. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.